Hey y'all, let's explore Joyful Gardens. Hey y'all, so this land is part of the Nature Collective, so we already know it's gonna be super beautiful. So let's just take a look around. I figure since we are at Joyful Gardens, we'll start off at the garden. They have a lot of little places that you can go, but I figure let's start off here since that's where we're at is joyful gardens so they have this little space over here that's for like valentine's pictures and stuff like that much like real life and second life valentine's day is a really big deal so everything in second life is pretty much valentine's day themed and it'll stay like that until about february 16th and then it'll start like dying down a little bit but out the gate yeah everything's gonna be very valentine's day themed again this is another as i see it in second life so of course you know that cursor will be making a debut i love the attention to detail that they always give when they make things in second life and this is probably a glass of champagne that you probably can yeah you can click it and get you some champagne we're not gonna do that because you know we're trying to we're trying to keep it together you know we just we just got here so we're not gonna do no champagne not right now let me do a quick little outfit check I felt like um, because of this land, I didn't really feel like I had to like do themey themey because I'm like, it's a lot of different things going on on this land. So I just kept it, you know, regular, degular, schmegular. Just a little quick little outfit, quick little one, two, buckle my shoe. And that's it. So we'll do a little, a little shoe. I get these from my favorite store. I think it's called Marchese. That's how I choose to pronounce it in that sale. It might be something different. So each one of these little houses has like some really cute details in them. This place is really good for couples. I feel like this is a really good place to go for like a first date in that sale, in my opinion. Um, just to be able to wander around with your little boo thing or your perspective boo thing and just kind of explore. This space is like a, like a, what do they call it, like a horticultural, a horticultural? I can't pronounce it, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I don't even know if that's the correct word, but it's like in here, they'll teach you about gardening and different parts of gardening. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know what they teaching in here, but it's desk. So I'm like, it gotta be like a class or something. But look how cute this stuff is. When I tell you every time I come here, I, I just be wanting to look at everything. My last video, I feel like it was too damn long. So I'm really trying to stay on task. It's always quite difficult for me to do that when I'm showing y'all stuff in Second Life because I be wanting to show y'all everything. Cause I'm like, oh, everything is just so beautiful. I just want to show you guys every little single thing, but I can't. I can't. If y'all want to see it, you 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 gonna have to you gonna have to come to SAO. I'm just I'm just saying you gonna have to download Second Life and come to Second Life and check this stuff out. All of these places are free to come. I don't think that there are any places in SAO that you have to pay to go to, but I I I, I don't know for sure. But from my history in it in SAO, I've never had to pay to go any place. These places you definitely could just go and explore and look at. Um, some places have neighborhoods and then for that yeah you have to, you have to pay for that so there's a cute little classroom and then they have like animations of course because that's what SAO um does we have they have a lot of animations I'm gonna go ahead and take this purse off so if it's anything that I want to sit on I can sit on it and I don't have to first of all let's check this purse out it's the it's the attention to details my apologies y'all it's the attention to details for me with this purse. This ain't got nothing to do with what we doing, but I really love this purse. This is like my favorite, favorite purse. I have a bunch of these in a bunch of different colors. I'm sure y'all y'all will get a chance to see quite a bit of them. So let's go ahead and get up out of here. And so then we'll look at another place. I like how they have all the flowers and all of the colors and things like that for you to look at. Let me see, we'll sit here and then we'll look around a little bit. So yeah, we're not gonna. I, I'm not gonna necessarily do. Well, let me let me do one because they got me standing up like a like a gentleman. I don't want to do that. I just want to sit down. I want to be able to look and explore. So y'all look at these pretty um the pretty flowers. When I tell you, the attention to detail, you won't get it any place else other than SL. I know people play all different types of games and things like that, and I've seen people play like um the sims and stuff like that and the sims is nice is is nice but 
I really feel like Second Life really takes the cake when it comes to just the design, the, the animations, the way everything is brought together. I just really feel like nobody's really doing it like Second Life. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm not a gamer girl like that. I'm pretty much just like in Second Life and that's about it. Let me go ahead and stand up. But from what I see in Second Life, I, I don't even know if I could handle anything more detailed than Second Life because I'm always amazed at just what's going on in Second Life. I couldn't imagine like really anything more detailed than this is crazy for me. Is this a fairy? This is a fairy, a Willa Whimsy. Okay, Willa, let me see. All, all right, Willa. They got the little fruit out for the butterflies. Let's see what fruit they have. Damn butterflies eating better fruit than me. Okay. Come through cherries and blueberries and mangoes and dragon fruit. Oh, okay now. Butterflies living the best life. What's going on with you, Willa? Whimsy. Okay, girl. Willa up in here chilling. Beautiful. Cute little fairy. Okay. But yeah, my last video I uploaded, I was like, OMG, it's almost, it's almost 30 minutes. And then my, the, the internet was acting all crazy, guys, and I could not, ugh, it didn't get up in time. I was just really upset about that, but you know, I digress. We're not going to focus on things that we don't have control over. That's, that's, that's one thing I don't do. So they have these little houses for like, I guess like the starting out of plants and stuff like that. I love the detail because if you ever been to a like a greenhouse or something like that, or like a place that sells flowers. They always have these little houses. And I, I always like see the plants inside the house. I'm like, what are they doing? They're actually like prepping them. So I think that's super cute that they're showing that. And then these are like other plants that they just have up in here ready to be planted. They have like the dirt. And all that when I tell y'all, the, the attention to detail, I don't think anybody could really beat it in SL. I, I would challenge someone to introduce me to a virtual world. That's like Second Life, not in a, a place that's like different from Second Life or like World of Warcraft or Warfare. I know those are good, but we're talking about Second Life. That's not like with all of that violence and stuff like that. Like, no. So they have these little teleport things. And so I feel like we should just pop around a little bit. That's also gonna keep me on task. So I don't go off and just showing every little piece of every little thing. So this is their little celebration area. And the thing that I love about this, I love when they have these balloons down because you can kick them. And then they move. This is a really cute place. If you have like kitties that you want to bring here, they can come and play in the little balloons. They have little rides in the back and things like that. And that's one of the things that I really love. Uh, what I'm noticing on a lot of these lands is a lot of these lands, when they do have rides, the rides are like Ferris wheels and things like that, which I really like because they allow you to um, ride them on your own. So like you can start them and you can stop them. Look at this attention to detail. This is where it really gets me above everything in Second Life. It is the attention, it's the attention to detail. That's always what fuels my looking at every little bitty piece of everything. It's always the um the attention to detail. I don't I don't know how they do this. That's why I feel like these people are really talented people. I don't even, I, I tried to use Blender before, it just did not, it, it wasn't, it wasn't for me, but I digress. Well, I wanted to look at the cake. I, I'm not, I wanted to look at the cake. Yeah, I did. I want y'all to see the cake as well. So initially when I came to this land, I walked around a lot and I did find a lot of like cute little places, but I was concerned about the timing. All oh, this Valentine's cake said, be mine. Can you get a slice? You probably can click it and get a slice because just about everything is interactive. Yep, you probably can click it and get a slice. Yep, nope, we're not gonna attach it to the avatar. Okay. Like if you wanted to come and sit here, they have really cute 
um, chairs that you could come and sit at. Like I said, this is a really nice place. Like if you have um, kids or if you're a couple, and even if you want to just explore and be on your own like me, um, as you guys may or may not know, um, I am an introvert in real life and in second life. So I do like to explore in real life and second life um, by myself. I do things with other people, but I, I prefer um, my company above all. So I really like that Second Life gives you the opportunity to interact with people if you choose to. It's not something that you absolutely have to do and that's something that I do like about Second Life. So it lets the introverts still be able to be introverts but be able to explore in this virtual world that's very much so interactive. And most people in Second Life, they do have friends and family and things like that. I just. I didn't want that to be my experience in Second Life. I kind of, I wanted to be a, a dolo solo type person. I mingle from here and there, um, but for the most part, it, I just be chilling, exploring in Second Life. And this is how I prefer to spend my Second Life. There are a lot of people that are in Second Life and they're just like, it's crazy to be in Second Life and not want to be around anybody in Second Life. Yeah, it's a virtual world, it's interactive, but at the same time, it's like if, hold up, I'm gonna fall down, y'all, it's all right. It's like if you wanna explore Second Life on your own, then you should be able to explore Second Life on your own. And so if you're in Second Life, don't let people make you feel any type of way about wanting to do things on your own or about how you, experience your second life because it's yours this is the space for you to be creative in your own special way in second life and be whoever and however you want to be in second life that's another thing that i do like about second life it's really cute um coffee stand is that people walk around in second life however they choose to and nobody judges so you'll see people that are bunnies cats um Hold your, hold your purses, demons, angels, as we just saw, a fairy. You'll see people as kids and all kind of pets and things like that. So we'll go to the, where we're gonna go? Where we're gonna go? We'll go to the cafe, all right. I don't know what this is, what's this? Oh, it's just a little something for us to, okay. All right, okay, okay. You could just be, you could be and do whatever you want to do in Second Life without any judgment. Nobody treats you differently because you're a cat in Second Life. This house is small. I don't know if we'll be able to actually go in. My avatar is, is tall. I, you know, the most people in Second Life are way shorter than me, but I don't like how my avatar looks um, short. Oh, this is cute. Why they make it so small? Well, you know what? In hindsight, the average avatar can fit in here. Am I stuck? No. The average avatar can fit in here. But you know, mine, she's a little, she, she, she's a tall one. I'm 5'11 in real life, so I think I kind of just wanted to stay in that space, even though I'm not, of course, taller than any men in Second Life. The men um, are very, very tall. They can get to be very, very tall in Second Life. This is so pretty and springtimey, so festive and so appropriate for um, this land. So they have a lot of little goodies up in here. Super cute. Let's see, they have little, are these owls, like little, Owl treats. I love it. I love it. What are these? Like little cobblers. And this is really what I do. I love bringing these videos to you guys in Second Life because I really like to be able to just share these with y'all. Little pot pies. I had a pot pie last night. I know that's right. I like being able to bring this to you guys just to show you what I do in my spare time when I'm not doing other things, I do like to explore in Second Life. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite pastimes. Sometimes I don't get to come here as much as I would like to, just to kind of chill out and relax. This is a very relaxing place. But I say I feel like it's more like a getaway for um, myself. So I just wanted to show you guys. So let's see where we're going now. 
can I get on this? Yeah, I could get well I saw a little chair. Where we sitting at? We sitting where? Come on now. Okay. OMG. Is that a shark or a whale? I don't know. I don't know. What's going on? Let's try to find a little teleport system. So this looks like a little camping area. I didn't even see this area. So this is a cute little camping area that you can come and hang out at. Okay, I really liked it. I really like that. What we're looking for is another little stump. So I didn't find a stump, but I did find another little swing thing that we can take a ride on and just see where it is going to land us. Okay, what's over here? So like I said, I'm not gonna make this video super long like the last video. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet as possible. Um, I did just wanna pop in and just show you guys this land because I did come across this land and I thought it was beautiful. I love a good garden, love a good garden. I try to show you guys everything that I think you would want to see in this video. Oh, this is cute. We have a little let out couch with like a little studio prop. It's looking like a little studio apartment. Very cute. They have the veggies out here with the little rabbits and all of that and the little sprinklers very very nice i don't want to get stuck up in this house because it's borderline too small so let's see oh oh that was a whole whale okay we're we about to see what's going on with that in a moment what's in here oh this is the bathroom oh, okay so they have the house and then they have like a like an outhouse type vibe i don't think i could fit in here oh i can okay Oh, this is super cute. I know this stuff is from Dust Bunny. Y'all who not in Second Life, y'all not, not gonna know about Dust Bunny, but Dust Bunny has a lot of little knickknacks and crafts and stuff for your house that's super cute. This is a cute little bathroom, okay. So they have like the little tray with some scrunchies. What's on here? Some makeup, jewelry. Just some little sunglasses, all of that. It's super cute in here. Okay. Y'all, but y'all see how tall I am in here? We're, we're not going to trip on that. So I do know that... Oh, the cute little apple tree. We... Okay, you're going to let me walk all the way through the apple tree. Okay. I saw something under there. We we saw a, we saw a whole damn well. We, that we did. So hold up. Let me have a seat, and then we can look and see what's what's going on with uh up under here what they got what kind of snacks they got right here first but let's see let's see real quick second life is about being nosy and exploring they make this stuff for you not to pan in on and look at yeah second life is about being nosy and i'm all for that i'm all for it how cute is that okay so now I'm a little scared because that was a big ass well. So let's see what is actually under here. Okay, very pretty. Oh, okay. I knew I saw a well. Are those sharks? Oh, so they made like a whole little. They made like a whole little miniature underwater world. Oh, this is cute. Is this a mermaid? Let's see what they got going on beautiful oh love it love it love it i personally think this is a perfect place to end this video so if you guys um like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and as always i will see you guys next time